Hey y'all, what's up? So, are you guys feeling the same thing? Like, this world just doesn't excite you. You're not really looking forward to events. You're not really looking forward to what this world has to offer. You're just ready for the rapture to happen. You're ready to be with your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Are you, are you like more looking forward to the day of the rapture than you are the next day on this earth? I, I, I'm only saying this is because today I felt kind of blah. I feel like, I've kind of felt like I'm done with this world. I'm done with how evil and cruel it is. And I want to, I want to shut the world out. I'm ready to, for the rapture to happen. I'm ready for the best day of my life. And that is when I will get to be with my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for all eternity. And I won't have to worry about sinning or falling short of the glory of my Lord and Savior. I will be able to walk and dwell with the Lord forevermore. And I know... The best day of my life is around the corner and looking for the rapture and looking to the day where I get to go home to be with Jesus is what's keeping me going, what's keeping me on track. And Satan Satan comes against me. Uh, Satan likes to tell me all the time that maybe the rapture is not real. And I'm like, no, no, it's real. It is real. It is in God's word. And I, I literally have to remind myself that there were raptures in the Bible. I have to remind myself that as in the days of Noah, and as in the days of Lot, how God saved Lot and his family before sudden destruction, how God saved Noah and his family and put them on the ark and sealed them safely inside before the floods came. I remind myself that we will be pulled before the seven years of tribulation begins. I have to remind myself every day of God's word and his love for me and you. I have to stay strong in Jesus. My body will fail me, but Jesus is my rock on which I stand. He is my strong fortress. I am not perfect. I'm only human. But that's not an excuse to not love Jesus. That's not an excuse to sin. That's not an excuse to live like the world. No, to me, that's an excuse to cling closer to Jesus. That's motivation. To love the Lord. That's motivation for me to tell you about the love of Jesus. That's motivation for me to speak God's truth. And to warn you guys, the rapture is on his way. The rapture is about to take place place. The signs are all around us and they are increasing. God is about to tell Jesus, go get your bride. How amazing that we are called the bride of Christ. 
Jesus is our friend, our counselor, our savior, our redeemer. He's everything that we need him to be. He's always got our best interest at heart. And we are loved by Jesus more than anybody else upon this earth. How amazing is it? I cannot wait to be in the presence of my Savior. There is so much going on around this world. And if I did not have Jesus to cling to, I would be in pure panic mode. But I'm not. We're just getting closer to Jesus. And this world truly has no idea what is about to befall it. Because they are asleep and they are ignoring the warning signs. They are ignoring the signs that are right in front of their face. It's right in front of their face. And they choose to say, nah, it's not true. And if we're sitting here, we're telling them like, look, this is Bible prophecy leaping off of the pages of the Bible. How can you not believe what is right in front of you? They are walking in such blindness. It's sad. And the rapture is what is going to wake most people up. I hope you're ready to meet Jesus. I know I am. Alright guys, I hope to see you in the clouds or I'll see you in my next video. Bye y'all.